Hello, and welcome to April 24th, 2020, in our little COVID time machine here. This was in the news. As you can see, it's blank. And the reason it's blank is because it was censored. Two California urgent care doctors, they own a chain of urgent cares, um, Dr. Dan Erickson and Dr. Artin Mashihi, decided to hold a press conference. And what they talked about was their personal experience as on-the-ground doctors. Their main points were very simple. We were overreacting. We needed to readjust that they could handle it from a medical standpoint. And they gave facts and data. They brought up uh, sort of the official narrative data. They had opinions on that. Um, they debunked some of it. They disagreed with some of it. They agreed with some of it. Um, they took other countries' data, again, public stuff, compared us to Spain, compared us to Italy. Um, and they also brought up things like um, the fact that we might be actually really hurting our natural immunity by sequestering ourselves in place. Um, and this was not controversial. Like, you look at this, an adult looks at this and says either, gee, okay, these guys seem pretty smart. I agree with some of what they say. I don't agree with uh, some of the other stuff that they say. Or I completely disagree with it. Or I, could, I agree with all of it. <laughs> Instead, what happened was they were pounced on, destroyed, canceled, censored, insulted, um, and there was a never-ending clown car of CNN contributors willing to come on air and call these guys um, all sorts of names and impugn their reputations. They're called uh, reckless, reckless. How is it reckless to bring up some sober analysis, some, some differing opinions on how to handle this thing? And once again, that is not a correct and proper way to go about this sort of stuff. That is the way that people who are wrong proceed. What Team Lockdown did, and again, this, is, this has happened the entire time, it's happened for a year, is if you had a different opinion, you were not talked to. You were not given a chance to voice your concerns. You were pounced on and destroyed and censored and canceled, just like these two doctors. And again, you know, as an adult who has a responsibility to my family, myself, my kids, um, I also have a responsibility to my community, my country, um, and this is something that I want to hear. This is something that you should want to hear. And again, they could be puppy kickers. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. These guys and the other doctors that have come out over the last year who are doctors that actually treat patients all have a very, very, very similar POV. And they bring it up in this video. And again, I encourage, I'll put the, I'll put the rumble link in the description because YouTube still has it censored. There has never been a discussion. There has never been a proper to and fro about this lockdown strategy. It was decided on by, I don't know who, who? And it was forced down our throats. And anybody that dared speak up and say, um, hey, this seems like you were had your head chopped off. And that's what happened to these guys, which is insane. That is insane. And if you think it's okay to censor these guys, then you're the problem. I'm sorry. That's not okay. I don't want to censor people that I disagree with. I, I, think that, I think that Fauci and the CDC have caused an unbelievable amount of damage and continue to do so. But it has never crossed my mind to censor them. Censorship is something that people do when they're wrong. But... In terms of public health, in terms of data, in terms of the demographics of who it hits and who, who it hurts and who, it's, who, it, who it seems to spare, are very important to talk about. And it is absolutely valid to compare and contrast them to our flu data. 
Why is that controversial? That was one of the main things that they got hit here with. They did say that it seemed to be worse than the flu, but thankfully not leagues and exponentials more deadly than the flu. Again, thank goodness. We were given a three to 5% infection fatality rate for this thing, which again is like earth ending. That's crazy. We found out very quickly, very quickly that it was much, much lower that, tracking down to flu levels. They even mentioned here about the fact that those flu levels are there because we do have a, a flu vaccine. Ironically, they go in to talk about vaccines and about how they, and this was a year ago, how they didn't think that vaccines were something that we should shelter in place and wait for, because that was stupid. Sheltering in place and waiting for a vaccine Again, that was the that was sort of the narrative around this point, and we knew that that was stupid. We knew that that was destructive, and even at this point, we thought that the vaccines were like 18 months, 24 months out, and there were people saying, hey, let's stay in place, lock in until these vaccines come and save us, and the rest of us are going, are you cuckoo ka -choo? What is wrong with your brain? How And again, we found out that these are very privileged people that do this. These are very elite people who think that just because they can do these things that you should be forced to as well. These are our legitimate, high-end, very smart people who know what they're talking about. And they just have a difference of opinion. And the excuse that was used here to cancel these people was, we're in an emergency, we have decided on a on a strategy and you were talking off strategy so therefore you must be punished. Like that that is just nutballs. That is crazy. This is public. This is our public health policy at stake here. And one of the main hits on them was that they're not epidemiologists. And again, if you know anything about medical science, I mean epidemiologists, I mean no offense, but doesn't make you super special. You look back in history, and most of the people that, that were iconoclasts and made for, you know, like positive change in history, you know, you look at Galileo, you look at Copernicus, and these people were the same as these doctors in history. The canceling of these two doctors, the censoring of their information, the video, is amazing. And what we have done, again, we have censored these questions instead of confronting them. These are valid questions. Everything that they said in this, in this video was valid. Was it all absolutely, you know, 100% true? Of course not, nobody is. Nobody is. Not even, not even uh, King Fauci, right? And I know most people would admit that, right? But there's this weird thing where they, they sort of project onto the people that have a, an opposing opinion that they're supposed to be perfect 100% of the time. Well, but our guys are, you know, Fauci, Burks, and Ferguson. Yeah, they, they can screw up every once in a while because they mean well. Like, these guys don't mean well. It's really reprehensible what happened to these doctors. Um, and again, there, there just was not an adult conversation that was had. And that is a shame. That is a real shame, what we did to these guys. Wow, wow. Huh. Good going.